This video is about uh, swapping out a, a old engine for a crate engine on a 2001 Chevy Tahoe. Uh, belongs to a neighbor of mine and he saw that I like to work on cars so he asked me if I want to swap the motor. I said sure. So here we are. Um, so far I'm not going to go into all the details of how to disconnect everything because there's all kind of videos on YouTube for that. I'll just talk about the highlights of what I've done so far. Um, as you can see, the intake's gone and, and uh, kind of down to a long block. But uh, the first thing I did was move the, the, uh, the ducting from the mass sensor up to the throttle body. Uh, took the clamps off there and took that out. Um, took out the top of the radiator shroud and um, I didn't have the proper clutch to take or tool to take the uh, radiator fan off, so I just took the water pump off as a whole with the fan on it. I have a tool to take that off later. Um, one thing I did was um, I built a, instead of taking the radiator out, I built a piece of, uh, cut a piece of wood, plywood to put in front of the radiator, protect it from getting damaged during when I tried to take this engine out. And I repurposed the, uh, one of the clips that held the crate engine in the crate and used it as a clamp. Um, what I'm gonna do here is, this is the, uh, power steering pump assembly uh, the, the alternator was sitting on top of it and it just took I just took out two bolts loosened the two wires off the back alternator alternator came out pretty easy uh, this bracket was held on by four bolts three on the top one two three and then there's another long bolt on the bottom on the front and then there's one more bolt on the back you can see it right down through there that bolt right there held the, a bracket on the back of the power steering pump to the block once that was loose this power steering assembly came loose and uh, I'm not taking it out, I'm just gonna let it hang here. I'm gonna take a chain and pull it back up out of the way and chain it to a part of the fender so it'll stay out of the way when I'm moving this motor. Um, I'm not gonna try and do extra work. So next I'm gonna take the AC compressor loose. Uh, apparently the AC doesn't work because he didn't have a belt on it. Um, I'm gonna ask him about that, so if he wants to replace that, but I'll unbolt the uh, AC compressor from the block and uh, do the same thing, kind of chain it and hold it up out of the way instead of taking it out. Um, um, again, I've taken the uh, intake off, uh, took all the harness connections off, had to get special fittings for these uh, disconnects for these fuel lines. Uh, took the fuel lines loose, took all the harness loose. I left the harness in, you can see it coming over the top. And uh, it was sitting on top of the intake, but I took, disconnected all the connectors for the harness. This was the ignition. That was the ignition uh, coil pack on this side. Uh, pop loose all the injectors. Here's your injector connectors here. There's four of them. They have to go back on the right order by the way because it's sequential. Um, loosened up the um, oil pressure switch, the cam sensor, and then there's a harness. Uh, one bolt in the back with a wire for the harness and then another uh, wire strap that's attached right here. I'm going to disconnect up here so I don't have to worry about it on the back. Um, so a uh, Took the plastic intake off because it's plastic, and uh, if, it gets, if this motor shifts any or hits anything, it would crack that. So that's the first thing to go. Plus, it gives me more room to get to the back of the engine for getting the transmission bolts out. I believe uh, a lot of places on the or a lot of sites on the internet, YouTube videos show that leaving the intake on the engine when you put it in or take it out, I think you should remove it. it gives you more access and it protects it from getting damaged. And it's not that hard to put in once the engine's in place. So um, that's where I'm at so far. Uh, my next stage is to, uh, like I said, AC compressor and then get under it and start disconnecting the exhaust and the transmission and take the motor mount bolts out and pull this out. Um, it's probably going to be hard. Uh, it's been in here for 2001, I'm assuming, so uh, the exhaust bolt manifold, exhaust manifold bolts might be hard to get loose. I'm going to hit them with PV, PV blaster and uh, hope that does the job, but if not, uh, may have to uh, cut them off or, or do some other method to get them out but we'll see how that goes so so far so good uh, again I didn't I'm not going to go into details on how to disconnect everything that should if you're a decent mechanic it should be obvious on how to disconnect a lot of this stuff I just want to hit the highlights of uh, things this was I, th I think it's your canister your uh, canister purge your, for your uh, fuel tank it I just pulled it uh, left it in here and pulled it through the uh, passage of the intake when I put it took it out so that's not that hard so
I'll uh, do a follow-up when I get to a stage where I think it needs to, I need some more explaining. Thanks for watching.